A night of heartbreak for a Brooklyn firehouse awaiting funeral plans for firefighter Timothy Klein, who died Sunday after responding to a fire in Canarsie. Yeah, PEX 11's Katie Carrado with more as his family and fellow firefighters prepare to say their final goodbyes. Good morning. Timothy Klein grew up in a firefighting family. He knew that he wanted to be one of New York's bravest, and the 31 year old died Sunday doing just that. Timothy Klein's fellow firefighters are battling a different challenge today, that of heartbreak. Timmy was known here as uh, the Canarsie kid, the golden child. Timmy was an officer's dream. He got things done. The six-year veteran of Ladder 170 was responding to a three-alarm fire at a Canarsie home Sunday when a ceiling collapsed and he became trapped. He died living out his childhood dream. We were both grew up wanting to be firefighters, and we were lucky enough to call ourselves firefighters just like our dads did. Firefighters lined the streets Monday as Klein's body arrived at McManus Funeral Home. His firehouse held an emotional bunting ceremony, the second in two years. Firefighter Steve Pollard died in the line of duty in 2019, and Klein gave the eulogy at his funeral. Stephen Pollard died not thinking of himself, but trying to help others. We lost a true hero that night. Stevie, it breaks my heart to know that the days working alongside you are over. Now, Klein is the one being remembered as not only one of Canarsie's bravest, but as a son, brother, and boyfriend. His fellow firefighters say their job now is to support Klein's family and his memory. We're going to get back on those rigs uh, another day, and uh, we're going to honor Timmy by doing that. And Klein truly led a life of service. He even volunteered his time helping others on his days off from the firehouse. His family and friends are now planning his funeral arrangements. Reporting outside of McManus Funeral Home in Brooklyn, I'm Katie Carrado, PIX11 News.